We all know what happens when we throw an error in a JavaScript function. It gets caught if you have a try catch block. And in this case, all it's doing is printing out the message that it catches. So if I run this code, all it says is something went wrong. But what if we want to have a different type of message? What if we went to have a message for if the user's done something wrong and if the server's done something wrong? How would we change different error types? Well, we can add a custom error type. And what that does is allows us to define an error type with its own name. So with that in place, what we can do is change the line up here to change the message based on the error type name. So in this case, it's going to say if the error type name is user error, it's going to print this message. If it's not, it'll print that message. So if you run the code again, it says we've done something wrong. So that's a server error. And if we change our error type here now to user error, it now says you've done something wrong. 